boys and girls. This week we're going to talk about strangers. We're going to talk about some safety rules and who we should talk to and who we shouldn't. So let's take a listen to the story, Never Talk to Strangers, and see if we learn something. Never Talk to Strangers by Anne Marie Pace. Climbing down the school bus steps, Jamie opened his jacket so Mom could see the shiny badge Officer Crane had pinned to Jamie's shirt during the school assembly. Super safety expert, Mom read. Congratulations! While he ate his snack, Jamie told Mom all the rules Officer Crane had taught him. Strangers are people you don't know. If a stranger talks to you, you should yell and run away. And Mrs. Otter hung my Never Talk to Strangers poster on the wall, he said. Later, Mom needed to clean the garage, so Jamie went to the backyard to kick his soccer ball. Whack! Jamie's first kick sent the ball bouncing into the net. Whack! So did his second. Whack! His third ball soared over the net. It landed in the yard of the empty house next door. Jamie slipped through a gap in the fence to retrieve it. Looking for this, a voice said. Jamie jumped. No one had lived in that house since the Wolf family moved, but someone Jamie had never seen before was holding the soccer ball. Thanks, Jamie said, stretching out his hand for the ball. Jamie took a couple steps forward. But then the late afternoon sunlight glinted off Jamie's chest and he remembered his shiny badge. His tummy started to do flips. Who was this person and what was he doing in Wolf's backyard? Jamie froze. This was a stranger. What had Officer Crane said to do about strangers? You're a stranger, Jamie yelled as he dashed back through the fence. Mom! Mom! He ran towards his back porch and leaped up on the steps. Inside, he slammed the door and turned the lock. He leaned against the door, his heart pounding. Mom rushed into the kitchen. Jamie, she cried, I heard you yelling. Seeing Mom made him feel safer. I talked to the stranger, he said, then I got really scared. Mom hugged him. Everything's fine now, buddy, she said. You're safe. Jamie looked down at his badge but I'm not a super safety expert. I broke Officer Crane's number one rule, never talk to strangers. The doorbell rang. Hold on, Jamie, Mom said. We'll talk more in a minute. Mom stood up and walked to the front hall. Jamie unpinned his badge and stuffed it in his pocket. He didn't want to wear it anymore. Mr. Fox, Mom said. Her voice sounded cheerful. How good to see you. Jamie peeked out around the corner. It was the man from next door. Why was mom letting the stranger into the house? And why was mom smiling at him? I've unpacked and wanted to say hello, Mr. Fox said, and I brought this ball back. Jamie ran into the hall and tugged mom's skirt. Pulling her ear down to his mouth, mom, that's the stranger, don't let him in. Never talk to strangers. For a moment, Mom looked confused. Mr. Fox isn't a stranger. He was my piano teacher when I was... Ah. Oh. Suddenly, Mom paused, nodding and understanding. I see what you mean, Jamie. I've known Mr. Fox since I was a little girl, but of course, he is a stranger to you. Mr. Fox stretched out his hand. I'm sorry I scared you, Jamie, Mr. Fox said as they shook hands. I shouldn't have talked to you, Jamie said. I didn't know you yet. Mom knelt beside Jamie. You did talk to a stranger, Jamie, and I can see why you were upset, but let's talk about what you did right. Jamie thought, then began counting on his fingers. When I realized he was a stranger, I stopped walking towards him. Then I shouted that I didn't know him and I yelled for a parent. He touched his third finger, and then I ran away as fast as I could, got inside and locked the door. Mom squeezed Jamie's hand. It sounds to me like you are a super safety expert. You did exactly the same, the right thing, Jamie, Mr. Fox said. I hope we can be friends now that your mom has told you it's okay. Why don't you show Mr. Fox your badge, Mom said. 
Jamie pulled the badge out of his pocket and handed it to Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox turned it around and admired it. This is a mighty fine badge. May I? Jamie nodded and Mr. Fox pinned the badge back on Jamie's shirt. I happen to have a delicious apple pie next door, said Mr. Fox. Now that we're friends, would you and your mom like to come over for tea? Smiling, Jamie nodded. It was good to have a new friend. It was even better he had done the right things. And it was awesome knowing that he was a super safety expert after all. The end. There's some safety rules in the back, boys and girls, that are in your packet for this week. So take a look at them and make sure you practice with mom and dad being super safe. Until I see you again, make sure you don't talk to strangers.